this video we're going to talk about tables. In the earlier days of web design, tables were mostly used for laying out uh, even the whole page web experience. But as we've always known, tables are just supposed to be used for tabular information. Let's say if you're listing users of a particular something and you want table form, so you can use the table block. So if we quickly search for table, uh, by clicking the plus button and typing table, we are able to find it here. Or if we are not going to use that and we're used to the shortcut of doing the slash, we can slash table, enter, and you'll see that it gives you uh, a form that, a, di a dialog box that allows you to add and say, maybe I want to have six columns, that's the vertical form, and then I want to have an about 10 rows so when I hit create you have your six columns then you have your 10 rows now you can still edit this if you need be the later versions of Gutenberg you can actually stripe this out and say I want you to have alternate colors here and table block allows us to also make it fully recognizable or wide or even just centered so We'll just go for the wide width for now and we have the options of either deleting columns and we can also let's say delete rows and reduce maybe we've done too many rows so we can reduce that uh, we can change it back to this so that we can easily see how that's being affected so now we have four columns and we're going to delete another row so it's shorter for us now there are more table options right here in the right hand side and you can say I want to have a fixed table width for the cells or you can add a header section and you can add even a footer section for you. So you have a footer, you have a header and that can be seen. So I'm just going to change the formatting here uh, to allow us to see that. So we have our head, we have our foot, footer there. And we can change also the color settings. Let's say we want it to be a little blue or just a little bit of that neat. And then we can also add other classes that we can always use CSS to affect our table. So we'll have information here. So for example, I want to have a first name. And once I type and tab, then I am able to get the option. And then I'll do the last name. I'll do the age. I'll do the class, um, let's say maybe this is school students and then I can say maybe the stream they are in. So that will make it uh, available for me and then yeah, so I'll just align this to the center. So you're able to align in the latest version of uh, Gutenberg, you're able to align this wherever you want to. You can do individual alignment and that will work out. So we have here a left align and then we have centers for both of these. So as you add information, you can have John Doe and then John Doe is 34 and he's in uh, blue, the blue stream. So this, all, this is all available for us. Um, you can try the styles that are available. You can add your own. But this is how you use the the table um, the, the table block. So for then Chris, uh, Chris is 23, he's in the red stream. And that's the table block for you. Uh, if you save it and then just upload and uh, reload here, you will see that we have our table here. So the more content we add, the better it will look. So enjoy using the table block. Uh, in the next video, we shall be looking at something different and we shall be looking at the blocks that go into um, the layout element. So we shall look at the columns, we shall look at buttons, we shall look at the media text and so on. So thank you for watching. Uh, keep looking out for the channel and bye-bye.